Good afternoon and welcome back to my kitchen. So today I'm in the middle of cooking dinner and I thought I'm just going to do a video and show you guys what I'm going to make because I'm just going to make some plain rice today in the micro rice cooker in the large. Um, so I am just doing some, I went to the garden, got heaps of zucchini. Zucchini is going mad at this time of the year. So I've just snapped off a whole heap of zucchini, zucchini flowers. I've taken the wicks out, then I've stuffed them with cheese, and then I've just did a really quick beer batter, dipped it in the beer batter, and now I'm just frying them off. But I want to do them on a bed of beautiful, fluffy, perfect rice. So this is the guy who's gonna do that. I'll come in for my close up. Hi everyone. <laughs> So this guy cooks rice, um, he cooks grains to perfection every single time and I have been testing it and so far absolutely faultless, faultless every single time. I've never ever ever myself had gluggy rice with this guy. So it stores leftovers in um, as well. So um, whatever rice I don't use, I just leave it in there, put it in the fridge. When I pull it back out the next day or even a day or two later, let's face it, bit of water, put it back in the microwave, another couple of minutes, it's just good to go. Just as fluffy and perfect as it was the first time. It, it's great. So it has this unique cover. I'll just open that for you which ensures, which is this guy, which ensures any natural foam overflow is collected inside the top cover and then drained back into the cover insert. It also has these little vents in the top, which allow the perfect amount of steam to escape without letting too much get away, obviously. Um, do respect Sorry, I'm just going to put that there. Um, do respect the maximum fill line. It is etched on there. Um, because if you don't, look, it's just going to overflow and it's going to be messy um, in your microwave. You don't want that. So respect the line and you're never going to have overflow and mess and yuck and stuff everywhere. Um, always have liquid in there. So again, as most of these microwave Tupperware items are. They don't like oils. They don't like butters. Um, no fatty stuff, um, which is I usually just put um, just um, like a like a vegetable cube or something like that in mine. I love saffron. I'm a bit of a saffron freak. I will do a video with um, a saffron rice in this guy because I love saffron. I love the colour of it. It's so beautiful. Um, what else can I tell you? It will make quinola um, wheat, plen, 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 plenta, plenta, I think it is, um, couscous, a variety of different rices. Um, it will make up to eight portions. Sorry, just check them on my food. Um, today I'll make five. Five is great um, for the three of us and I'll have leftovers for tomorrow. Which is always what I, which is what I like, really. I love leftovers, let's face it. I'm a leftover queen. Um, so it works best with cold water. And honestly, it works best when you rinse your rice. One of the biggest secrets I can ever tell you is that you've got to rinse your rice. You've got to get that starch out of your rice. Um, here, oh, I... Off topic, but I've got to show you this guy. So this is rinsed rice inside. Um, but that is a really old Tupperware bowl. So this guy came from my mother-in-law. So she owned it for years and she's gifted it to me because she was going to throw it out. And I was like, no, Tupperware, you can't do that. They last forever. So I reckon this guy's probably from the 80s. Maybe even the 70s, if you know, hit me up. It does have, um, it, will, it does have the millage etched in there as well, which is, you know, as you guys know, if you watch my videos, it is a favourite of mine. I'm just over having 
sorry, checking on my food again. I'm just over having um, things that just, you know, take, oh, just wash away, sorry, in the um, dishwasher or the sink or whatever you do. So I just have plain long grain white rice today. So I have um, 450 mils of rice. So I just basically fill up one of these, rinse the rice out until the water runs clear. And then all I'm gonna do is add 750 mils of water. When you get this guy, it will come with a booklet. The booklet is great. Have a read. Stop. Have a read. Um, it will it will give you um, exactly how much rice to use, to how much liquid to use. If you follow the instructions, perfect rice every single time. So now I am going to flip my food because I can smell it's cooking away there. Click that on, so that's on now. I know that that is safe. Those two little handles do need to marry up together. Don't let them be off center. Keep them together. They're there for a reason to do their job. Um, 15 minutes, 900 watts. And I will check back with you in a minute. Well, 15 minutes to be exact. <laughs> hey guys, moment of truth, here we go. Getting it out. I do recommend a great set of gloves, obviously. These are great because they have the grip handle, so I know I'm not going to drop my food. And then all we're going to do is push that down, and that just pops off into the sink. I'll take these off now. That straight, oh, straight into the sink, and there we go. Can you guys see that? Ooh she's hot, but oh, I knew it. I absolutely knew it. Beautiful, fresh, fluffy rice. Again, no glugs. Beautiful, fresh. Just like you get in the Chinese restaurant when you get that beautiful steamed rice and it's just perfection. You don't need to spend a fortune to do that now because you can do it at home with Tupperware. So thank you so much for watching today. So that was my micro rice maker in the large. All I'm going to do is um, chuck it on a nice big plate, chuck my zucchini flowers, which are done perfectly at the same time, chuck them on a big plate and then my family can just dig in and take whatever, however much they want. Um, I just find it's easier to serve like that some days when you just can't be bothered. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great evening.